Abyssinian cat versus Singapura cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? A love of heights is a signal trait of the Abyssinian. He likes to be as high up as possible and will appreciate having one or more ceiling height cat trees. This is a medium size cat weighing 6 to 10 pounds. The Singapura has three distinguishing characteristics. His small size of 4 to 8 pounds, big eyes and ears for his size, and the sepia tone coat that gives him the look of having stepped out of a 19th century photograph. The abai is often said to look as if he had just walked straight out of the wild. That's because of his ticked coat pattern, which resembles that of wild cats such as cougars. A ticked coat is alternating light and dark bands of color on each hair shaft. Everything about him suggests his lively, attentive nature. The abai has a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with large, broad ears, the better to hear you with. Large, almond-shaped eyes of gold or green express interest in everything they see. On the face, dark lines may extend from the eyes and brows. The muscular body is graceful and athletic. It falls into a middle ground between the stocky, or kabi, the body of a breed such as the Persian, and the long, svelte body of the oriental breeds such as the Siamese. The body is supported by slim, fine-boned legs atop small, oval, compact paws. Abais are often said to look as if they are walking on tiptoe. Swishing behind them is a long, tapering tail. Singapore's short, fine coat has a silky texture. Its color is called sepia agouti, described as dark brown ticking on a background color that resembles warm old ivory. Each hair has at least two bands of dark ticking separated by light bands, ending with a dark tip. The fur on the muzzle, chin, chest, and belly are the color of unbleached muslin. On the face, the Singapore looks as if he's been playing in the makeup box, with dark lines extending from his brows and the outside corners of his hazel, green or yellow eyes, dark lines extending downward from the inner corner of the eyes along the bridge of the nose called cheetah lines, and dark brown lines around the eyes, lips, and nose. In contrast, his nose leather is a pale to dark salmon color, and his paw pads are rosy brown. The Singapore may be small, but he's by no means delicate. His body is stocky and muscular, and his neck is short and thick. Heavily muscled legs taper to small, short, oval feet. His tail is short and slender with a dark tip. Of all the cat breeds, the Abyssinian is perhaps the one who lives life to the fullest. He climbs higher, jumps farther, plays harder. Nothing escapes the notice of this highly intelligent and inquisitive cat, a quality that makes life with him both endlessly entertaining and continuously challenging, staying a step ahead of an abai, as the breed is nicknamed, or even just keeping pace with him, requires the fancy footwork of a Fred Astaire, the brain power of an Einstein, and a sense of humor that never stops. You never know what he'll get into next, although you can assume that if you have something or are doing something, your abai will want to investigate it closely. Sometimes it may seem as if the abai never sleeps. He is ever in motion, jumping up in the window to look at birds or squirrels, leaping on top of the refrigerator to supervise meal preparation, perching on your desk to watch your fingers move over the keyboard, and then swiping at them so you'll pay attention to him instead. This is a playful, persistent cat who adores being the center of attention, and will do anything to achieve and maintain that status. The abai loves to play, so plan on making or purchasing a variety of toys to keep him occupied. Ping pong balls, bottle caps, watered up pieces of paper, puzzle toys, and teasers such as big peacock feathers will all amuse this busy and brainy cat. Teach him to retrieve at your peril. Once you start, he won't let you stop. He learns tricks quickly and many abais enjoy running a feline agility course. A love of heights is a signal trait of the Abyssinian. He likes to be as high up as possible and will appreciate having one or more ceiling height cat trees. When those aren't available, he is perfectly capable of making his way to the uppermost point of any room. He is naturally graceful and rarely breaks items unless it is simply out of curiosity. Abais are adaptable throughout their lives and fit well into any home where they are loved and given plenty of attention. In a home where people are at work or school during the day, the abai does best with a companion, ideally another abai, who can match his activity level. If left to his own devices, the abai may well dismantle the house in his search for something interesting to do. The tiny Singapura has a tiny little voice, but this mischievous and active cat makes his presence known in other ways, chasing small balls down the hall, tap dancing on keyboards, climbing curtains or anything else that will place him on high, or jumping on your shoulder as you walk by to go for a ride. He retains his playfulness well into adulthood. The Singapore loves people and isn't shy about meeting people. He likes being a lap cat and is an excellent bed warmer on cold winter nights. Despite his busy nature, he is a gentle friend who will put aside his activities to keep you company when you're feeling under the weather. The rest of the time? Watch out, he is as curious as cats come and will be into anything that looks interesting. 
The Singapore does best in a home where he will have plenty of company, human or animal. Hello. This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The short, fine coat of the Abyssinian is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath when the cat is shedding will help to remove excess hair more quickly. The Singapore's short, smooth coat is easy to care for with a quick weekly combing. Polishing it with a chamois will make it shine. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep an Abyssinian and Singapore as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Abyssinians in Singapore who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social Abyssinian is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-aged children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. Abais have also been known to get along with large parrots, ferrets, and other animals. The Singapura is playful and smart and can be a good friend to a child who treats him nicely. He's one of those cats who enjoys playing fetch and learning tricks, and his energy level means he won't wear out before the child does. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Singapurans usually get along well with other animals and seem to prefer living with some kind of company, not thriving when left alone all day. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.